All right, that was an absolute bloodbath, and let's break it down here on Chicago Bears Now. I am your host, Harrison Graham, reacting to the Bears' blowout loss at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Week 7 of the NFL season. This was never close as the Buccaneers win it, 38-3 to improve to 6-1. and one. The Chicago Bears fall to 3-4 and four with their second straight loss. The Packers last week, the Bucs this week. Tom Brady humbles the rookie, Justin Fields, who really struggled in this one as uh, the Bears are searching for all kinds of answers after, let's just call it, an embarrassing loss. I mean, you were never going to beat the Bucs, but to lose like this, that's pretty, pretty bad. Coaches get fired for this type of loss, so we'll just ask you. Should the Bears fire Matt Nagy? Type Y for yes, type in for no. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's video, so just answer right there. The top of the comment section, type Y for yes. Type in for no. Should the Bears fire their head coach after this game? Matt Nagy, give me a wire in. For me, it's very simple. Matt Nagy has to go. I mean, the last two weeks, if they've shown you anything, they've shown you this. That Matt Nagy, he can win you some games, but you can't, you can't win with the big boys with him. It was, it's been proven, and yeah, he's got a rookie quarterback and this and that, but we've seen this for years now. Since 2018, he can't beat or even compete with the big boys. Last week, only put up 14 points, lost to the Packers at home. This week, get blown out 38-3 at Tampa Bay. Matt Nagy has to go. I know he's not calling plays anymore, but he's the offensive mastermind. He's the genius. He's the Andy Reid disciple. This offense sucks. 311 total yards, a lot of that in garbage time. 168 passing, 143 rushing, uh, 2 of 12 on third and fourth down, 5 turnovers, 5? Your rookie quarterback is getting put in these disastrous situations. Oh, by the way, take Bill Lazor with you. He stinks as well. It, has he been marginally better than Matt Nagy? Yes, but key word, marginally. Like, Bill Lazor's not some genius. Bill Lazor got ran out of Cincinnati and Miami because he wasn't good at those stops. This offensive staff ain't it. It's just not it. I would fire Nagy, I would fire Laser, and I would make Mike Pettin my uh, interim head coach for the rest of the year, and I'd let John Filippo call plays, see what happens. Uh, and then I'm searching for a new coach. I mean, that, that, that's what I'm doing if I am the Chicago Bears. It probably won't happen. Oh, but COVID. They got a few guys on the COVID list. Yeah, Elijah Wilkinson ain't making up 35 points. I'll tell you that right now. This was an embarrassment. This was a blowout. It was never close. And Matt Nagy, he's, just, he's not a big game coach, man. He's not a good enough coach to win a bunch of big games. Describe this Bears offense in one word. I mean, just, just give me one word. There's, there's plenty of words that go out there. Embarrassing, sad, pathetic, awful, um, horrendous, uh, lifeless. Give me one word to describe this Bears offense. By the way, my one word is uh, boring, a very boring offense. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Give me your one word uh, response to describe this Bears offense. Uh, BetUS is not boring and it's a lot of fun. You can make a lot of money there because I took the under in this game and it was exhilarating as the under hit. Uh, it was set at 47, it ended up being 41. Make some money all season long with BetUS, but you gotta use our link and here's why, chatsports.com slash bears, because then you can plug in the promo code, bear down, it's all one word, bear down, all one word, at chatsports.com slash bears. You put down 100 bucks, they're gonna give you 125 bucks for free. And uh, hey, make some money with BetUS all season long. Your boy is red hot. Follow me on Twitter for my weekly picks against the spread. To go back to the offense, this offense is boring, man. There's a lot of words, joke, embarrassment, sad, lifeless, but more than that, it's boring, man. And it should not be boring with a quarterback that's dynamic like Justin Fields. Like, yes, does he look like a rookie still? Yeah. I think a lot of that's on coaching, though. I don't think they're playing to his strengths. Today, he did not get a lot of help whatsoever. You look at the numbers, 22 of 32, 184, no touchdowns, five turnovers. He did rush for 38 yards. Uh, he's had two really humbling games now. He had the game in Cleveland where he got sacked nine times, and now he had a five-turnover game against Tampa Bay. Uh, field struggled, but he got no help. Cole Komet drops a critical third and eight early in the game that would have extended a drive when the Bears were driving to maybe go tie the game at seven. Drops the ball. Great play by him. Darnell Mooney dropped the ball in this game. He also dropped another one that tipped up and got picked. Was it high? Yes. But a real big-time receiver should make that play. I think Mooney would tell you he should catch it. Has Fields struggled? 
a lot this year? Yeah, he has. He's a rookie. You're letting him play through this stuff, but you're not doing anything to help him. Like, they just they, – there's no creativity. It's boring. They're having him – they're making him a drop-back passer uh, strictly. I think he can become that, but you need to utilize him on the move a lot more. I just – I don't like what they're doing with him, and quite frankly, uh, that's why I would fire Nagy and Bill Lazor today. But we'll see what happens at the end of the day. Hopefully, someone can come in here and get this kid some help. I'll tell you this, Overreaction Monday is going to be lit tomorrow, so subscribe and join us for that. We'll have a video up on the channel, youtube.com slash bears now. Maybe we'll talk about more Matt Nagy replacements. Maybe uh, we'll take a look at some other overreactions. I see some Bears fans saying, trade for Deshaun Watson. Well, we might talk about that on Monday. I'll give my thoughts on that. And uh, I don't want Deshaun Watson. I'll just give you a little teaser. Uh, subscribe. Join us. We'll have videos every single day, including on Overreaction Monday. I do want to shout out Khalil Herbert, the one guy who actually helped Fields a little bit. How about this kid, man? Against a stout run defense, Carries it 18 times for 100 yards, first 100-yard game, five catches for 33 yards, showed some bursts in the passing game. Uh, Khalil Herbert's a good player. He's the one bright spot on the offense today. Kudos to him. I'll give him a round of applause. He played hard. He played well. He's given this offense some real juice the last couple of weeks, and uh, the run game hasn't suffered hardly at all without David Montgomery. Now, Montgomery's a better player than Herbert at this point, but Khalil Herbert's a real player. I will give Ryan Pace credit for that. I don't think Pace is that good, but he has found a few guys late in these drafts that can play, and uh, Herbert's one of those guys. He is the lone bright spot on this Bears offense today. The O-line stunk. Fields wasn't good. The receivers dropped a bunch of passes. Uh, but Khalil Herbert, he, uh, he played pretty well, so kudos to him. How disgusted are you with this Bears offense? Scale up from 1 to 100. 1 being, pff, not at all. This offense is awesome. Pff, 100 being incredibly. I'm at like a 99. I am so disgusted with watching this offense every week. It's boring. It's lackluster. It's not good. These receivers don't get open uh, despite the speed. Oh, we got speed now. Oh, where, where, where are we seeing it? It's nowhere on display because no one's getting open. It's, it's just brutal. Scale up from 1 to 100. 100 being uh, you're incredibly disgusted. 1 being not at all. Like a 99. I, I am so disgusted with this offense right now. Let's talk about the defense. I, I thought they I thought they tried. The offense gave them no help. Five turnovers and a special teams return into Bears territory. I think the Bears gave the Bucks the football inside their own or in Bears territory four or five times. You do that against Tom Brady, you're just asking for disaster. 408 yards, 226 passing, 182 rushing for the second week in a row. They got pretty gashed in the run game, but Tom Brady, while he threw for four touchdowns. He only was 20 of 36 or whatever for 211. It's not like he torched this Bears secondary. Uh, did have the uh, the one takeaway. Uh, offense gave the defense no chance. I, I mean, let's just let's just be honest, man. The offense gave this defense no chance. And how many times have we said that during the Matt Nagy era? Well, the defense battled, but ultimately the offense didn't do their part. Well, it happened again. It happened a freaking again, man. And you know what? I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting absolutely tired of it. One more thing on the offense, by the way. Field Yates tweeted this out. The Bears now have under 200 net passing yards in each of their first seven games. They're the first team since the 2008 Titans to open their season with at least seven games under 200 yards passing. Are you fucking kidding me? In 2021, that's not all on fields, man. That's a theme. That's, that's scheme. Uh, Matt Nagy, yeah, scheme. Yeah, your scheme sucks. Bill Lazor's not that good. Like, th this offense is a joke. You've got to fire this head coach. I think Nagy's a good dude. I think he could be a good quarterback coach. I think he's got some leadership intangibles. The team keeps playing hard. The defense kept playing hard in this one. They could have rolled over, got a, got a couple of, you know, red zone stops. That was nice. But it, it's just this team's not good enough. They can't score enough points. Not even close. Three points? Three? This Bucks defense has not been awesome this year. Come on, man. You can't stand for this shit. You got to fire this coach. But I'm sure the McCaskies won't do it because they're soft and they do not care. All right, who you got? Uh, Bears lose 38 to three against the Bucks. So now you come home and you face the 49ers. And obviously, in terms of this year to try to make the playoffs, this is obviously a must-win game. You lose and fall to three and five. See ya. The season's over. Type CHI for the Bears. Type SF for the 49ers. Who you got? Honestly, Bears 
we'll have a decent chance, I think, at home against the 49ers. Let me know in the comments, CHI for the Bears or SF for the 49ers. Before we sign off, I'm going to hit you one more time to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel at youtube.com slash bears now. We'll keep you guys up to date with the latest Chicago Bears news and rumors. Don't forget to subscribe and join us for Overreaction Monday tomorrow.